yeah, this run's been really good so far. Um, I think uh, when we when we booked it up, it was good for me to test, kind of test myself. A bit of a longer run, a lot of dates in a row, vocally, um, especially with like being away with the mental health aspect and stuff like that. It was just nice to push myself, and it's been it's been so much fun. I mean, the Yumi guys are so sweet. Everyone on the run is amazing, um, and it's nice to do that to jump up to that level. Really, like the arena stage, it's, it, we kind of feel like we can be there, which is great. You know, it's a test for ourselves with gear and everything that we um, that we went into it. We really put our heads together. We've got an amazing sound guy, um, and we've kind of set the bar that little bit higher for us. So. If you've come down to one of the shows, I'm sure you'll agree that everything is just like that, that little bit better, which, which we're stoked on. Um, so unfortunately we had to pull one of the shows, which was Blackburn. I just came down with really bad throat infection and flu on one of the days. Unfortunately, I mean, those don't know, I've got Crohn's disease, most people do. It's just part and parcel of touring with me. Um, I'm never ever gonna not do a tour. I'm always gonna go ahead and do it, but sometimes, I mean, it was literally just the case of Tris and Stu Tech just had bit of a cold about them, bit of a sore throat and when you're touring in a, in a tight van and in a dressing room that's just a, a smoggy pit you know, you're gonna get ill and when I get ill I get really ill um, but I you know had to pull one of the shows and then I just couldn't wait to come back and we did Doncaster yesterday and it was fucking rad um, I think it's just one of those things you know bands especially as a singer there's there's a lot of pressure um, You've got to, every day you wake up, you know you've got, to, you've got to sing. It's an instrument that you can't, you can't do anything about it if it goes. It's not like a guitar, you can't fix it. So you almost end up stressing yourself out sometimes. And you'll just be telling yourself, like, don't fucking lose your voice, and then you'll just lose your voice. So it is quite an added pressure being a singer. Um, but again, like I was saying, it's, the, the runs like this are stuff that I, I, I'm really wanting to do to push myself. And then we'll go on and do longer runs and longer runs and longer runs until it's it's just natural. So that's pull one show, it happens, part and parcel of being in a band, but yeah, it's on we're back on it and I'm feeling great. There's this really glamorous side of touring that people see these documentaries and they see um, see all these bands growing up and they're like, oh man, these people like that's the dream, it's so lucky, and yeah, it is the dream, and you know, we're getting to play music for a career, which is amazing. But it's fucking tough, it's it's super long days, it's being in a the things that you don't see are like when you finish your set and you have that adrenaline dump and you haven't shifted as much merch as you need to and that's the only way you're making money and then you've got a seven or eight hour drive and you don't go back to the hotel till four or five in the morning and then you've got to do the same thing again for like a 20 day run. That's what separates the people that love music from don't and we love music and we've come from that, we're used to that and we're blessed to be at this stage now. Um, where things run a bit smoother. Uh, All right. Black-headed goal, nice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, t the route for this run isn't isn't the best, even um, especially in a van. You know, we've, we've come from Newcastle down to Plymouth, then we're doing Bournemouth to Glasgow. That's tough. Um, that's a lot of hours at the end of the night you're putting in, um, especially for a guy that's that's pretty much constantly exhausted. But then you end up playing in places like this and it's just, you know, all of that goes away. It just doesn't matter. And like I said, that separates the people that want to do it for music and that do it for like, I don't know really the word, but do it for like the glory of it, I guess. So sound checking has been an absolute dream on this run. Um, like I said before, our, our front of house guy, Adam, he's just unbelievable. Everything feels safe. So it's a lot different to when you just do a normal run that we would normally do. You have, um, you have your own monitors every night, so everything is set. So every show, it's only going to need like tweaks, really, here and there, depending on the room. So you go there and you've got a general sound anyway, which is such a such a relief, really, because it just alleviates all stress um, from usually sound checking. You know, you've got like 10 minutes before doors open, you're still trying to get some sort of mix. You don't have that. Uh, but, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to those 25, 30 minutes that you play and. You know, you can you can be sick as a dog. Like, I was an absolute mess in Plymouth. Um, woke up that morning, not with no idea how I was going to do the show. Just just doing it step by step. Just get down there at least. Just do sound check. Um, and then as soon as you're on the stage, I, I just forget everything. Like time is just gone. I don't know. 
what happens in those 25 minutes and then the next thing I'm back in the dressing room. Jimmy, it's time to grow Do I see a hunger? Or do I see a fear?